The Bad 94 Mini is the signature distortion pedal from everybody's favourite Filipino rock god guitar player, Perfecto de Castro. I'm not going to lie, I'm completely biased when it comes to this pedal because Perfecto is my friend and we've actually just returned from a couple of weeks in the Philippines with Henin and everybody else that was at 42 Gear Island or Gastaway as we like to call it. Perfecto is a 100% rock star, especially over in the Philippines. I don't think there was anywhere we went where people didn't come up and ask for his autograph. And if you've heard him play, you'll understand why. Having said all that, I do really genuinely love this pedal. Um, the first time I heard it was through a clean amp model on my HX stump through in ear monitors at 42 Gear Street last year. I generally don't really like the sound of pedals through the stump, but this sounded really great. So I knew it was something that I wanted to check out. I think it's been designed to be used in front of a completely clean amp using this pedal to sculpt your distortion sound. So for example, if you turn up to a gig where backline has been rented or supplied, this is the ideal pedal to turn the typical Hot Rod Deluxe combo or 900 half stack into that fire breathing monster that you need, if that's what you need. It's definitely what I need. It comes with a few examples of suggested settings in the manual, which I'll run through later in this video. Obviously the first thing you'll notice is, well it's not exactly subtle is it? I love the colour, it looks cool, it screams 80s rock, and it definitely is going to stand out on your pedal board. It has five controls and a foot switch, the two bigger controls are for level and gain, and the three smaller knobs are for bass, contour and treble. The contour knob controls the mids and moves between a heavily pushed mid sound all the way to a scooped thrash metal and everything in between. I think it's based on or influenced by the Marshall Shredmaster, which coincidentally has just been re-released by Marshall. Although this is about $120 and the Marshall is currently $250. And it doesn't look anywhere near as cool. So I'll run through some sounds now. I'll be using it with this Blackstar Amped 1 uh, set to the clean USA voicing with the EL34 power amp valve simulation. I'll also include some delay from an MXR carbon copy and maybe push the front end a little bit for some lead sounds with a Tube Screamer Mini. For a cab, I'll be using a 212 loaded with vintage 30 speakers, mic'd up with an SM57. Oh, and before I run through the sounds, I would love it if you could press the subscribe button. It really helps me and my channel out, and it means I can keep doing more of this kind of thing, so thank you so much. Also, I'm really sorry about my voice. I, I woke up this morning and I couldn't even speak, so it's progress.
So hopefully you would agree that this is a very versatile and great sounding pedal. You can cover loads of different styles of music with it and it's very reasonably priced. I'll include links down below as where you can buy it. Please let me know what you think of this pedal down below. If you're a fan of Perfecto, then check out this video here. I talk about our recent adventures together in the Philippines. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.